format rages on. We have gimmick puppet action for you. We have one branded fusion and thunder dragons. Make sure you guys smash the like crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. Wow, we. How we have been forced to undergo some very interesting evolutions out here to keep our gimmick puppet deck fresh as we try to break the mold out here to allow this deck the chance to be supreme yet again. Yes, uh, so after the last Forbidden Limited list, um, Skibbity Scott went to one, Skibbity Bob went to two. Uh, no Skibbity Riz for either of these two. Look at me, I'm hip and cool and I know how to use internet slang too. Okay, so interesting cool things here. So we are supplementing things here. We are doing the Rainbow Bridge of Salvation with the Cobalt Eagle and so forth. Um, we are also playing Disc Coliseum. Fun and fancy now. We're going to put a Regulus on the field and we're going to tell our opponent, please break our one Omni Negate that we have. We're so fragile. Now this is kind of cool. We're playing Metal Tronus now. Target one face up non-token monster your opponent controls. Special summon one monster from your hand deck or extra deck that has two or more of the same type of attribute in or attack, but negate its effects. I don't really care about that. I care that I get a free special summon here, but okay, I mean, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll take this, but wait, it's special summon a monster from hand or deck. Ah, I see. You know, you get more than just your extra deck down here. A lot of people are gonna look at this card from the first application of the like extra deck. No, this allows you so much more. You know, you get to have access to so many, it depends what you're playing against too. You know, and also, you know, your localized meta, but dark is probably going to be something you'll be able to do. Outside of that, a lot of us kind of agree, deck is dead. It is in a very, very fragile state. If you're looking at this and you're like, oh, mayhaps this will be the best deck ever, my fair maiden. No, this will just be something that will probably scrape by in the tier two category. And you're just going to be like, oh, I got to OTK it anyway. I'll come back on the 2-0 and clap it. All right. This. This and this. So, 60 cards. Anybody? Anybody surprised about this? No. I had a feeling out here that branded players would be clutching on to the idea of, hey, you know, like, yeah, branded fusion went to one. Still don't necessarily agree with this hit. The deck was extremely fragile as it was, but this was very much an OCG inspired hit out here. Konami was like, hey, you know, we can we can we can fix her, all right? We can balance her. You know, Albion doesn't need to go. And honestly, if if you want to look at the lore and you want to go, oh my gosh, you know, like you can't really ban Albion. Konami really, really, really likes this deck for its lore. They have done everything to protect this, minus expulsion, because nobody really cared about expulsion. Card was broken, needed to go. Also, you know. We don't have to ban, ban the gimmick puppet stuff. You still get to keep everything. It's so basically what ends up happening here is now you're gonna have to drop the brand infusion from the deck with the combo lines. You're gonna have to, you know, kind of work around it to kind of get it back. But the cool thing here is, you know, you have grass to get a massive dump, all right? Mill off some little staple cards for you to kind of keep things going here. You know, get down your gimmick puppet maybe. Um, it, it all works. Grass is just a, a dump. 20 cards out of the deck, and congratulations, you did the thing. Branded is still here, 150 person. I would just consider the deck, it's more in the rogue category at this point. I, I don't see a point in saying, oh, this deck is the best deck in the room now. It's not the best deck in the room. It's definitely knocked itself down a peg for sure, but Yu-Gi-Oh players will try to argue with anything. I will also say, it's also kind of cool to see one of the first real things out here for Grass Looks Greener being competitive. You know what I mean? That's good. All right, what else we got cooking? Ha! Ah. So my dear friend Azzy, back at it again out here with Thunder Dragon Runic. I, I don't know what his obsession is with this deck. You know, he's, he's clutching on to the idea of, you know, Colossus is the best card ever printed. It is an incredibly good card. I'm not going to lie to you about that, all right? Um, it does become ignorant. But you got to remember, so you're playing Runic. So what, what what more can you do to inconvenience your opponent? Well, what if we take away half of their searching options from them? What if we deploy Double Colossus out here, or, you know, Colossus, to uh, it's kind of make your opponent's life even more terrible while you're playing against them? Yeah, that, that's kind of the game plan here. 
So, yes, we are playing 50. You might not think that that's necessarily, like, I guess, like, the greatest go-to in the world looking at this, but I think it's fine. Like, you, you have everything that you need done here. You are playing the Dark World of No More. You do need Board Breaker cards, 150%. All right, whether or not you choose to play this or evenly, uh, we are kind of in a... Ah, Actually, I can't even say we're really in a format now, like, oh boy, Wave King Kaiser, you know, like, is the biggest inconveniencing threat you kind of have to deal with now. Um, at least, now that Apo's gone, you kind of can roll this on out, board break your opponent, and then congratulations, you know, you just have to end the game in some fashion. It's kind of like, why like Colossus is that good card for that extra floodgate while you didn't grind him out. Also, if all these little extra cards in here, you know, the Bice Deal package getting to set up, yeah, there's the one Brandy Regained. That's fine. You can also make an argument, maybe if you want another Brandy Regained. I don't know why you would want two Regained. Um, even in the cluster piles I've been messing around with, I'm not throwing extra Regains at things. I, I think for the most part, you stick to the one and kind of just call it a day at that. All right, cool. Ah, ten pie this deck. Okay, so I, I want to say a couple things about this. I've played a lot of Tenpai, all right, post Rage of the Abyss. This deck is going to get so much more toxic, all right? You you think these Mall Charmies that you're looking at here, you think looking at these guys right now, you think, ah, a draw or two, that's ah, nothing. Wait till we get Dominus Impulse and wait until, you know, we get Fool Wars because this deck just ramps itself up into an even dumber creature. Now, one thing that I do find interesting about this build is, for current standards, this deck is ramping up with the triple Dark Hole and the triple Raigeki. Holy board breakers, Batman. That's really cool. Man, you, you spent that whole time building that 10-minute board over there. Wow, like that that's so cool. What if I go ahead and just blow it up, you know, with these? And your opponent's like, oh, you know, like, oh, oh okay, like I guess that's that's pretty troublesome. This is the stuff that you're gonna be using to allow you to do that. Yeah, it's, it's kinda crazy. Also, you know, the forbidden droplets also uh putting up for the board breaker seems pretty good to me. Um spooky dog woods for time. Drawls to inconvenience your opponent. Uh, two more Bice deals to be able to have his additional hand traps. Let's call it what it is out here. I mean, you've already got Magna Hut. Having the Drew's Worms be that spot removal option's good. Uh, double Evan these spheres. I feel like this does come up. I feel like there's just some grindy games for you here. And this build's also playing two Fadra. I can get behind this, actually. I, there are so many times I look at this deck, I'm like, man, I just want two Fadras. Like, you want to clutch onto this card. You want this card to be here for you when you're having a rough time. I think that this is a good idea to have these. If not, you know, you could side the other one like the OCG was doing. And then, last but not least, Johnny's. <coughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, man. I uh, too too much runicking. Ah, uh, my life meter. Ah, uh, just kidding. I'm at 100 life points. Must activate runic cards to win the game. All right. So we have the. the honestly, I, I was I messaged Johnny and asked him what he was going to do with this. If he's going to go with a mono or border. I think border is a better call because you are facilitating the tyrants' tirades now. Um, I do like a mono. A mono is a good card going first, or excuse me, going second. Um, you know the border, unless they have like uh, a negate on the border, like the imperm. I feel like it doesn't really matter all that much because it's just got to stick around just to do its thing, just to punish the opponent, and you're off to the races. Also, the dimensional fissures. I can get behind this, too. This is the OCG tech shining into our format here. You know, as long as Konami continues to allow us, you know, two burning fountains, I think this deck's going to stick around. It's going to be one of the most disgusting things you can do, but I don't really think you can optimize this deck at 40 at the moment without hurting yourself. Like, what are you going to consider? Actually, I guess you could cut a Tyrant's Tyrant and just play the one. But, like, high skill drain. I'm really sorry that you went back to one, buddy. But I'm just really happy that you, you've you helped us out. I did my part for the last couple of lists trying to push this. Uh, everything else here, I it's fine. <laughs> no real changes. So that's your first real look at post-meta decks out here. Except from, you know, me. Uh, there's just... There's a lot. All right. This format is so much different than people are expecting. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out.
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.